What's up guys, Tall Team Mug here. It's another beautiful day in sunny San Diego and I'm on my way to pick up a friend of mine. We're gonna be hanging out today, maybe do a little recording because he likes to rap and stuff and I told him I could record him. Um, but I'm gonna do things slightly different today. There's some things I wanted to do. I recently just joined uh, a bunch of my friends made a community of vlogger of vloggers and I just recently joined the group and I'd like to if I can catch up with some of the things that they do so what they do in this group is that they do vlog challenges basically you answer some questions or uh, do things and uh, you have a certain amount of time to complete those those challenges and post them and I and I thought it'd be pretty fun. See, that way it makes the keeps your vlogs a little interesting and always different. So yeah, I would like to try and see if I could catch up with what they've been doing, and that's probably what I'm going to be doing mostly in this video. So the first one is to introduce yourself. My name is Joshua T. Mog, aka a lot of people know me as JT, and on this channel or through a lot of my stuff, Tall t -Mug. Um, I am currently 24, almost 25, super old. A lot of things that I like to do, like my hobbies and uh, things that I love. I love to watch movies. I love to um, analyze them and you know see how each character's motivations work and why characters act. Um, I like to act, of course. I like to do media such as uh, editing photos, videos, I like to do interviews, and I like to do a lot of things like basketball, sports, martial arts, dance, I, well I try, but uh, to keep myself from rambling, basically I like to do things that like to challenge me creatively and like to um, let me express myself. It's always been a big thing of mine. Even in high school, I used to do like 3,000 clubs just so I could uh, push myself to that limit, that creative limit. Um, I like to, but my niche that I love to do is making videos and doing acting and doing movies, uh, doing auditions, singing, of course. Now, what I like to get out of the vlogging community, this this uh, sus family, as they call it. Um, I like to. It's like one of the reasons why I started vlogging is because I don't exactly have the freedom now since I, I have this new job um, to do what I used to do. To like you know go out and do auditions and try out for acting and and go out and shoot interviews and do all those media stuff, edit and so, and so on. So that's one of the reasons why I started vlogging because it's it, it kind of keeps me fresh on my editing skills and stuff but it's one of my outlets to let myself out creatively since I don't have as much freedom as I used to. Now, of course, it's gonna be hard to like, you know, make my vlogs always exciting, which is one of my uh, regrets is that back when I used to drive up to LA like every other week and do these auditions and meet all these amazing people, I kind of re regret not vlogging. Um, but, you know, better late than never. And uh, I've been doing it since last year. I mean, I don't do it as frequently as I want to because I get busy. But it's something I really enjoy. It's something to let me put myself out there creatively and you know let out that creative steam. 
I, I just like to, you know, connect with a lot of people, connect with my friends, especially in this group, um, and, you know, get to know everybody. Since uh, it's been a long time since I've been in San Diego, so of course a lot of things changed. So I'm still trying to, you know, go out there, hang out with a lot of people within reason of my schedule, but of course, that I'll try my best. And yeah, I think the last challenge that uh, they did was what would your, what would be like three impressions of yourself if you got to meet and hang out with yourself? Now, this is a really interesting question because like the saying goes, usually the biggest critic is uh, of you is you. If I knew that I was meeting myself, there would be a lot of negative things that I wish that I could improve. Like, you know, I, I tend to be sometimes a little shy in the beginning. Well, I think at first I would look at myself physically, which how first impressions usually go. Um, I would think that I could do so much more. Uh, I wish I had a, a nice body, of course. I'm working towards that, but uh, you know, I love food too much. <laughs> And uh, it gets hard with my schedule because sometimes I have uh, not not that much sleep, which is a problem. But I think, yeah, I, I could do a lot more with my body. I could work out a lot more. I would look at where I am in, in my life. I feel like I could do better, honestly. And due to circumstances, I'm in a certain part of my life now instead of where I want it to be. Now, a lot of it, it has to do with like, I had to leave and leave a lot that I used to do and I didn't really have too many opportunities to do what I wanted to do back where I went to. So I made big life-changing decisions and for now, I, I'm doing things differently. But I want to see if I could make my way back onto the path that I was going towards. So it's like a slight career change, but I hope that it deviates back onto that road that I wanted to do. Because I have really big life goals. Like super big, cue the Oscar picture of me holding an Oscar. Uh, the other two were negative, I'll probably make this one a more positive one. But I like how, I mean, knowing that through the things that I went to, I like how more outgoing that I've become. I'm sometimes an introvert, but I'm more open to talking to people. I My people skills have improved, especially when I started studying for uh, communication. The fact that I'm able to make friends a lot more easily than before, that, that's something that I'm really proud of. One of the perks of me having so many interests and being so open-minded is that I have so many things to talk about. So if there's a certain person that, you know, is like really likes this one thing, then I I I'm, I can talk about that thing with them because I can somehow relate to it. Because I, I'm the kind of guy that in high school I was a jock, but I still did drama and I still did Japanese culture club and I did anime, I, I was part of a uh, uh, video games and stuff like that. So I'm a nerd, I'm a jock, I love music, all that stuff. I was like the Troy Bolton of my high school. I, I did I, I did varsity basketball and I did musicals and stuff like that. The fact that I'm so open-minded and so sociable now is one of the things that I, I, I really enjoy about myself now. Um, and I hope that didn't sound like uh, too ego too egotistical, so, uh, yeah. Another uh, challenge that they had, I think, was what's your typical day like? It's hard because it's, my typical day is pretty boring. You know, wake up really early, like around four in the morning, which sucks, by the way. Uh, I had to get to work by like six. Uh, I work, um, this is probably the first time I'm saying this in my vlogs because I don't really want to put it out there too much, but. I'm currently in the military, so our schedule is kind of tight. Wake up early, get to work, do lots of military things, 
and yeah, carry heavy stuff. Um, yeah, after that, go home, try to chill out as much as I can, you know, watch Netflix, play video games, try to go out, you know, have a social life, eat amazing food, especially being here in San Diego. Usually I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos and stuff before I sleep or watch a good movie or TV series. Recently I, I just got into, uh, I just finished Stranger Things, so yeah. And uh, I'm excited, Star Wars Rebels just started and I think the second episode came out today or last night. And uh, I'm trying to, you know, catch up with a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, after that, go to sleep, wake up, you know, rinse, lather, repeat. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I could look up what other challenges that they did. I can't really think of anything else off the top of my head, but I'll be checking them out later and I'm gonna finish it later, definitely, most definitely. And uh, shout out to Brian, Brian Kalina awesome friend of mine. He invited me to this community and I like to say hello to everybody and I'm happy to be part of this community and um, yeah uh, it's something awesome to incorporate in the vlogs that I've been shooting already and you know keeps it keeps it snappy, keeps it on, on the move and moving forward. So yeah I'm excited. I'm excited. This looks delicious. So good. So fancy. Mm. Delicious. I think it was crazy. <laughs> so keep going, I keep flowing. You always know when I'm so promoting. I'm always going, I'm most dope and call me Mac Miller. The younger version, why these girls always way flirting. I'm in the infinity I 30 while she's talking dirty and she's really flirty. When I'm only 21 and she's really 30. Yes, yeah, she is a cougar. Come into your nightmares like I'm Freddy Krueger. I'm driving in the PT Cruiser. Yeah, I am that loser. All right, we out here eating again. Looking delicious. Oh man, look at that sushi though. Ramen bird is coming up. Got that ramen bird. Awesome. It's sweet potato fries. Let's try those. So for the challenge of showing off your room, I would show off my work, but I can't. Got s secret stuff happening at work. So I'll show my room. I don't really have a room right now. I'm staying at my uncle's house because um, I'm currently away from my actual home. Yeah, it's a mess right now and I'm cleaning my sheets and bed and stuff and I'm in the process of cleaning it, but I don't want to late, be late for this vlog. So, it's a little messy. It's currently doing sheets right now. Um, yeah. Still have a lot of left leftover stuff from cons. 
Uh, gotta send that back home. Got a PS4 and a present that I got from my brother. Little Star Wars thing. Got a box for it, and it's his lightsaber, which is also super cool. Uh, PS4 stuff, and I also have a little secret, I'm a big, 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 big J-pop fan, and I don't know, just recently I became a really huge AKB48 fan, and yeah, I got a lot of merchandise, so, yep, and I know it was short, but that's my room, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.